Hello and welcome to Lovely English Stories. This story is written for upper intermediate English learners. You can download the PDF transcript of this and other stories on our new Patreon page. Ready? Let's get started. B2 English Story Modern Witches Melissa and Samantha had always been fascinated by Halloween. They loved anything gothic, creepy and pumpkin related. They met at primary school and bonded over a love of witch stories, ghosts and ghouls. They loved to escape into a world of magic. At Halloween, they would always dress up as their alter egos. They were two sneaky witches with broomsticks and black cats. They definitely played up to the witch stereotypes. On Halloween night, they loved to light candles, try out spells and carve their pumpkins in preparation for going trick or treating with their parents. Then they would have a sleepover and tell ghost stories until they fell asleep. As they grew older, they kept their Halloween tradition. Now, aged 30, they still tried to meet, cast some spells, and enjoy the magic of All Hallows' Eve. No matter what they were doing or where they were in the world, they always tried to get together for October 31st. Melissa now worked as an English teacher. Since leaving school, she had lived in four different countries across Asia and Europe. Samantha had been to visit her many times. Samantha worked as a software developer for a fintech company in London. She got to travel for work and was rarely in the same place for more than six months at a time. For the last few years, Melissa and Samantha had spent Halloween in three different countries, Vietnam, France and Switzerland. Unfortunately for them, none of these countries really celebrates Halloween, so they had to make their own fun. They hired out nice apartments, watched old Halloween films, dressed up, and reminisced about old times, even though they were often thousands of miles apart most of the time, they were closer than ever and spoke several times a week. Melissa and Samantha were saving up so they could spend Halloween in Salem. It was their dream to dress up as witches and wander the town on All Hallows' Eve. Salem is a town in Massachusetts in the USA and was founded in 1626. The town and nearby Danvers were made famous by the witch trials of 1692. In recent years, the area has also been made famous by many Halloween films. They knew they wouldn't make it this year, but they hoped that perhaps they could have their thoroughly planned trip in a year or two. This year, they planned to meet in London. Melissa had finally booked a flight back to the UK and she managed to coincide seeing her family with the Halloween weekend in London. They had planned the weekend meticulously. Samantha bought pumpkins, decorations, treats, cinnamon-scented candles, broomsticks and creepy lights. She decorated her flat from top to bottom. Skeletons hung from the walls. 
Tall candles stood on almost every surface and fake cobwebs clung to the window frames. To Samantha, this was pure magic. She hunted through her boxes and found the old spell books that she used as a teenager and bought some of the ingredients needed to make a good luck spell. Her fancy dress costume consisted of an embroidered dress and corset, a pointy black hat, pointed shoes and a cape. It was all very stereotypical, just the way she liked it. Samantha also had a black cat called Midnight. Unfortunately, he didn't seem to like Halloween very much. He liked peace and quiet and wasn't a fan of open flames or candles. He definitely wasn't a typical witch's cat. As the time grew closer for Melissa to arrive, Samantha became nervously excited. She made a Halloween magic punch drink, got her Halloween-themed cake out of the oven and put together their favourite dish of homemade hot dogs. At 6pm, Melissa arrived promptly, suitcase in hand and in full fancy dress. She was wearing her red floaty dress, a hat and dark eye makeup. She was carrying a witch's broom and a pumpkin ready for carving. They gave each other a huge hug. They hadn't seen each other in person for over ten months. Of course, they had talked on the phone, but it wasn't the same as meeting up and putting the world to rights. They felt so lucky to have such a brilliant friendship. Melissa updated Samantha on her travels back to the UK and how it was catching up with her family. She would spend the next two days with Samantha before flying back to her teaching job in Japan. She unpacked her belongings and made herself comfortable on Samantha's sofa. She read some spells from the spell book and they drank their Halloween magic punch. It was just like old times. When it got to 9pm, the trick-or-treaters stopped ringing the bell and they settled down to watch old Halloween films from their childhood. As they did every Halloween, they also set three intentions for the following year before going through their intentions from the previous year. Unfortunately, they had not been able to complete one of their travelling intentions due to everything that had happened in the last year, but on the bright side, they had completed two of their intentions. One was to try and spend this Halloween together, and the other was for them both to have their own places. Previously, they had lived with other people. Now they both had their own flats in their respective cities. They wrote their joint intentions on a slip of paper, imagined them to the best of their ability, and then burnt the slip of paper in Samantha's fire. Now they had to focus on their intentions and let their magic do the rest. After setting their intentions and making the spells, they picked up their broomsticks and swept through Samantha's flat. They swept away last year's energy and made way for the new. Then they laid back on Samantha's cosy sofa covered in orange and rust-coloured throws, and fell asleep in their witch outfits, just like they did every year.
We hope you enjoyed this lovely English story. Thank you for stopping by. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share. See you soon.